You heard it earlier, but we have to say it again. Seven feet tall, 400 pounds. And it bolted to a concrete base. Still, the statue is now missing from a Kansas City park. So who took a 400 pound statue? Who? Seemingly without a trace. Well, it's a mystery police are hoping that you can help them solve. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez explains. Where there were once three statues depicting a scene from the founding of Kansas City, Missouri, one is now missing. And if you go down and show to a traffic way and you're not looking closely, you probably wouldn't even notice. At some point this week, someone sheared the bolts off of the seven foot tall, 400 pound sculpture of a Native American woman trading with Kansas City's founding father, Francois Choteau. To actually pick up the entire piece and move it, that's... That's almost uh, beyond comprehension. Mark McHenry, who helped raise funds for the two-ton memorial honoring Shoto and Native American heritage, says the statue alone done by local sculptor Quan Wu is worth $80,000. It's a unique piece. I mean, he's the one that sculptured this out of clay, and then the process, he turned it into a large piece of bronze, and uh, it's, quite frankly, irreplaceable. McHenry says when they were designing this monument, they made sure that the bluff was tall enough to make sure that no one could easily scale it. He surmises whoever did this either used a lift or a ladder to get up there. Another thing that probably helped out the thieves is that even though these light fixtures are in place, they weren't working at the time. The interim KC Parks director says KCPD detectives have alerted scrapyard dealers of the theft. It's not uncommon for copper wiring and um, different um, just kind of pieces off of a building and things like that to get to get stolen. We don't often see a whole statue uh, going missing. They hope they can recover the piece whole and find those responsible. If someone goes by and this is standing in someone's front yard or it's in their garage or on their back patio, someone's going to say something. We hope. It's kind of hard to hide. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News. Hard to hide indeed. We hope they find it. Now, Kansas City police are investigating. You can leave an anonymous tip through the tips hotline. That number is 816-474-TIPS. If you'd like to talk directly with the detective on the case, we have those numbers for you as well. You can find them on our website, kshb.com. Just look for that connected to this story.